Let me tell y'all how Carvana played the public. They built a business saying, you don't have to go to the dealership, we'll come to you. And people loved that so much, they hated dealerships so much, that they said, we will not even check your prices, Carvana. We won't even check to see if the cars you're selling are a good price, Carvana. We just want you to bring that car to us and keep us out the dealership. Now, in the midst of that happening, I'm watching dealers deliver cars to people's houses. Carvana's advertising something that is already being done, but they're making it look like we're the only ones who do it. And that's the problem. But you gotta know, there's two types of dealerships. There's a 20%, there's an 80%. And the 80%, the people who will sell their child for a commission, the people who will put a grandmother in a car she can't afford, the people who don't need to be in the business, they're the ones who created the success for Carvana because they made it very difficult to do deals from home. They made it very difficult to buy cars online and they continue to fight against the future. But that 20% of car dealers who've been delivering cars to people's house since 2011, they're the ones who are saying, yo, we do this already. So if you're shopping from home, you'll find us. If you're walking into dealership, you might walk into the 80% and they'll send you right to Carvana and <laughs> you might end up buying an overpriced car from them. To this day, Carvana pays more than most people for cars, but you can't buy high and sell low. So I love Carvana. They're always in our consideration, but not without checking against every competitor. That's online buyers and other car dealers. If you want to learn how to shop like we shop, click the link in my description.